Hey guys, it's Morgan coming back to you with another video. Today we are talking about a lot of things. We're going to talk about the Tusk Talon, uh, talk about the Carapax Moose, and we're going to talk about Moose Balls. So lots going on here today. Uh, we now have 20 hours on this Tusk Talon. It is completely worn out, um, and the moose inside of it, I feel like it's probably worn out too. We've lost the bead, uh, but we are running two rim locks, so no problem. It actually stayed on there just fine. Uh, actually worked really well that flat because tons of traction. Um, so yeah, it actually worked great right up into the end, but we have officially 20 hours on it, and it is hammered. So uh, we're going to take that off. We're going to take a look at the Carapax Moose, see what it looks like after 20 hours of beating on it, both high speed and low speed. Uh, and then we're going to reinstall Mooses. And I want to talk about Mooses, kind of a long-term final review uh, talk about Moose Balls. Because, um, yeah, I like them, spoiler alert. But there's some things I don't agree with about their marketing. So let's get this thing off, get the tire off, and let's take a look. This is what happens to an extreme enduro moose ah, when you ride it on fast stuff. Because this bike, while I did ride it on a lot of hard enduro -y stuff, I also hammered down on it. So, you can see, guys, it's junk. Uh, but, that being said, I would definitely buy that thing again, not for normal use. Like that thing is no good for normal trail riding or hair scrambles or any of that stuff. Absolutely no good. But if you want to do hard enduro, it is an awesome moose. Like I, I was really impressed with how it worked. Uh, it just was squishy from the get go. I didn't have to drill it. It held up. Uh, when it got like this, it actually was <laughs> tons of traction. I never felt like it bent the rim. I think the rim is nice and straight. Um, wasn't just beating on the rocks. So it did its job. Uh, it's not cheap though. It's 198 bucks. Um, but if you want to go race hard enduro uh, and you're going to take it seriously, I definitely recommend one of those. You drill one, it would be crazy soft right from the get go. Um, definitely check out the link below for First Track Moto uh, for Ben Nicholson. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you, Care Packs, for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, when I go racing um, hard enduro again, I'm getting one of those. And let me let me go grab uh, the moose balls, and we'll talk about why I would use that over the moose balls. All right, guys. So the folks over at Mr. Wolf will tell you that moose balls are tunable. You just take moose, or you take balls out, or you um, add some in, and all that. I disagree to a point um, and I had a guy comment on a video and I've thought this for a long time I just haven't made a specific video about it so that's what this is um, as well as showing that and all that uh, so moose balls are my favorite foam insert right now hands down for just everyday normal human riding uh, pretty hard stuff too but you know, not the crazy hard enduro. And here's the reason. For moose balls to work correctly, you need to fill the tire. You can't have big gaps because when you do, if you have big gaps, if you want to make it really soft by taking uh, a bunch of balls out, you end up with these gaps and they don't spread evenly as you ride. They move around. You end up with these big voids or dead spots. That's what happened on the Suron. Uh, Ultra B, uh, he was like, yeah, I feel it was okay, but it's kind of oh, oh, hops around. It was because we had some big gaps. Uh, I know one guy said he had a tire come off the rim. I don't know how many rim locks he had in there, but came off the rim, doesn't matter. And that's no good. So I disagree that you can like just take a whole bunch of moose balls out and make it really, really soft. Now my drilled setup worked pretty well. Uh, but I also don't think that that's the best way to go. I really just don't. I don't think that's going to be 
I don't know. I don't think it's going to work that well, even with big holes. I don't think I'm even going to try it. I might try it in the future just to see if it fails. Um, but I don't know. I think the moose balls work the way they're supposed to work uh, when you pack them in there. Now, if you want it a little stiffer, like so you fill everything up, fill all the voids, and, you know, they're not super packed in there, just like super tight, that's great. You're going to get a nice soft feel, good dead feeling. Um, it's going to, you know, do all the things that a moose does. And then they last a long time. If you want it stiffer, if you're going to ride moto or you're going to ride hair scrambles fast or desert fast, you know, you can jam another one in and make it really tight as if you were putting kind of too big of a moose in. That works too. So you can stiffen it up from what I think it's intended. But I really don't agree that you can make it softer. Um, now, maybe somebody out there has drilled them uh, with bigger holes than me or they did it a different way like from the side so down the length of them. Uh, you guys should comment in here and let me know. Um, but the reality is I just don't think they're good for that, which might end up making them not great for hard enduro. Now, I know Team Shirko's using them. I know Cody Webb's using them. Uh, and I you know, haven't talked to Cody. I haven't talked to those guys. I don't know how they're uh, working it, and I don't know if they're drilling them. I don't know. But for me, I think the moose balls, you should fill the tire up just like anything else and you know maybe don't jam them super tight if you want it kind of soft or jam it really tight if you want it kind of hard uh so now um we have our old moose balls obviously i took them out for the care packs and now we're going to um install them in this is another talent i'm going to race on this this weekend this is a 120 this just came out uh like just a few weeks ago the 120 did and um, so I'm going to take the old moose balls and we're going to see how many it takes to fill this thing up and uh, whether or not it does fill a 120. And we will be using our moose juice. And a lot of these guys are the drilled ones. So we are going to be, you know, longevity testing them. One thing I really like about the moose juice is that the, the flip cap allows you to set it down and let it drain down in there so you're not trying to, like get the like with the tube that comes with the moose balls or anything else nitro moose or anything you can't like hold it like that so you, you end up even needing a little tool that squeezes it all out or you kind of shake it this is really sweet and i know that's like a tiny thing but it's stuff like that honestly that makes a big difference to me as a guy who works on these things all the time cue the time lapse All right, guys, so we are at a decision point. <laughs> so we've got them all touching all the way around, and we have that little gap. Now that's where we gotta make a decision, right? So if we leave it like this, it'll be totally fine. We're not gonna end up with any voids while we're riding. Uh, as you squeeze it, it's gonna fill that up, and then they, you know, as they heat up, they generally expand a little bit anyway. So that is not a problem. But if we take another one out and another one out to get this thing super soft, that's when I think you're going to have a problem. Uh, and that's what I don't agree with. So let's count how many we got in here. Twenty. So 20 are in there right now. I personally like a stiffer tire. Um, this in the Tusk Talon is a relatively soft knob tire. So I'm going to shove one more in there. Also, this is a 120. Uh, I think when I squeeze it down, it's not gonna to try to seat the bead because it's such a big tire. So I'm gonna shove one more in there and then we're gonna mount it up. So for me, I think the Tusk Talon 120, 118 is gonna be good with 21 moose balls. Boom, there we go. Now they're nice and tight. But the moose balls are so nice and squishy that this is still going to feel really good and get really good traction. Also for this application, I'm taking one of my rim locks out because that's nice and stiff. And one rim lock is going to be more than enough of this. Cue the internet trolls who think I should have washed my bike better. <laughs> I don't care.
Guys, I seriously really like this tire. I know I've had some comments from a bunch of you guys. Like, well, you're not a real rider. You obviously don't know what you're talking about. That thing sucks. Uh, it's not very sticky. And to you, I say, anyway, whatever. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it wears out kind of fast. I mean, 20 hours, yeah, it's hammered. And it was kind of hammered after about 12 or 14 hours. But it just kept working, especially with that soft moose in it. So I think the Tusk Talon is a great tire. So especially for the money, the, the 110 is like 67 bucks. I think these are like 70, something close to that. So yeah, I think they're awesome. And they may not be good back east. I can, I'll concede that. But out here in the west, I think they're really good. And I'm super excited to see how the 120 does on the back of Loretta, the game changer. All right, guys, there it is. The 120-100 Talon. Really excited about this race this weekend. It's a desert race, a hair scramble out in the Grand Junction Desert, and it is going to be good. This tire is going to be wicked for it. Uh, I think that is where this tire shines, is in the desert, the techie desert, uh, where you need a lot of grip. Uh, our hair scramble is not going to need a lot of grip. It's going to be a lot of dirt and going fast, uh, but it's going to be awesome for that, too. Um, it's, is it the very best tire in uh, the wet slick situations? No, it's not. But it's also not as bad as a lot of you guys are saying, at least with me. I mean, I'm not that great a rider. I don't have the best throttle or clutch control, and I managed to get up some nasty stuff on the Alpine Trail and Nate and Lou Creek. So it worked great. <laughs> uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, as far as moose balls goes, guys, definitely still my favorite foam insert for my kind of riding, which is a mix of hard and fast stuff. Uh, I really, really like them. This is the sixth or seventh tire on those moose balls, I think, something like that. It's a crazy lot of, <laughs> I don't know, it's a ton. And uh, they've been holding up incredibly well. So I cannot recommend them enough. We sell a ton of them here at the shop. Go check out intechusa.com uh, or intech, anyway, Intech USA. Go check them out. You can buy them there or you can come in here and buy a set from me. Uh, Carapax Moose, Ben Nicholson, thank you so much. First Track Motorsports, you can get them there. He'll ship them anywhere in the world. Uh, I like them for hard enduro. I think I'll buy another one. When I enter another hard enduro race, and yes, I will enter another hard enduro race. I'm going to buy one of those mooses. Uh, I think it's going to be perfect. I'll probably drill it out, make it really, really soft from the get-go. And, you know, it's going to be a, a you know, I don't know, about a one-race moose, but it'll be a race and pull out, put on the shelf kind of moose, not just run into the ground because it completely shredded. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you like this video. Share this with a friend. Tell people about us. Like, subscribe comment all those youtube -y things we're trying to grow this channel to over 100,000 subscribers we're a long way from that right now but we're growing and we're kicking butt so thank you to you guys for doing that punk rock club i love you the most we'll see you guys in the next one